Hello all, welcome to CRS Info Solutions. In this session, we are going to talk about Salesforce objects. So it is not a objects which we have seen in a earlier admin classes. It is Apex objects. So these objects, whenever you talk about objects, so why we are using because um, if you wanted to call any methods, uh, from the classes you need to use objects so without objects you cannot call the methods and uh, for example uh, so while we have talking about class so I said something called blueprint so if you take an auditorium so the complete set of uh, uh, structure of auditorium which is called a blueprint so inside the auditorium you can see chairs fans tables so those things you can make it as you can consider it as objects so like that whichever the um, parameters or whichever the variables or whichever the members which there inside the class if you wanted to call those if you wanted to access or if you wanted to call those methods you need to go for uh, objects so here when you are writing the objects so you can consider objects is a reference for a class or entity of a class so writing an object without parameters is you need to write class name and you need to specify the object name and you need to give equal symbol and you need to give new keyword and you need to specify the class name again ends with open brackets and close bracket and terminated with semicolon and if you wanted to call that method you need to use the created object name along with the method so in the same way if you wanted to call with parameters just want just need to share the parameters list inside the brackets so let's see a small demo how to use apex objects so now in last class we have seen something how to use the methods so let's see how to call this method so before that uh, so we were talking about some public private protected right so now I have another class so consider that I have a class name um, customer child info so this is the consider that this is the class name so this is another class now I have some variables like public uh, or if you want to have any variables you can have list of variables over here so let's talk about the access specifier now uh, if I'm using public uh, any customer child number so this is considered that uh, integer so now it is integer now this child info can be accessed inside this class or inside this class so anywhere you can access this variable in case if I made this as a private this variable can be accessed within this class now if I am using it as protected and I saved it so this is saved now this variable will be accessed here till now so if I wanted to access this variable in in this class I just need to use extern keyword along with this class name So if I use the extend keywords along with this class name, so this protected variable can be accessed in the derived classes also. So now this class, so this class is extending this customer info class. So the scope of the variable can be with this class and also for this class also so this is how protected will work in case if I make this as global I can access 
within this class and I can access within this class even outside Salesforce if I have any classes I can access over there okay now let's talk about more on methods so let's go and execute this one so if you wanted to call any methods first you need to create a objects so let to create objects we have a syntax called class name c object and equals new class name and ends with semicolon so and you need to use this object name dot method name so here the method name is display customer info ends with semicolon so, and you can execute it so here you can see customer id is null because we haven't assigned any value and the customer name is john smith so it is displaying properly so this is how you can utilize the methods in salesforce so if you wanted to create one more object you can create and you can call it one more time so but there should be a different in object name it will call twice so here you can see so this is how you can utilize the objects in salesforce so let's see one another session thank you have a great day